Service Bell is a three mana Paladin spell that discovers a class card from your deck and draws all copies of it. So as I was searching for something to abuse the Service Bell, I came across Invigorating Sermon, which gives plus one plus one to all minions in your hand, deck, and battlefield. And we can, of course, draw the Service Bell consistently with the Stone Hearth Vindicator, so we can hit our Invigorating Sermons pretty much every game. And on top of that, we can also play Kaliseth and Snapdragon, so we can give our deck an absolute ton of buffs. Love Vindicator. Okay, I'm not supposed to draw a service bell when I already have Vindicator, but it might be okay. Because, uh, hitting double freaking double sermon into double banner man could be pretty good. It also means that the, uh, service bell from this is guaranteed to hit sermon, which is good. How many terrible draws do I have next turn? Service Bell, Invigorating Sermon, I have three terrible draws. Coining also lets me play like Snapdragon next turn. I think this is worth it. Oh, I actually still wasn't guaranteed there because I have Carrie Ellen deck as well. Um, I actually don't know what's better between Bannerman and Cariel here. I'm going 4, 5, and then double Bannerman on 6 is pretty appealing. And I do have Famish Fool to hopefully dig for Cariel. Bannerman helps as well just by getting other minions out of the way, so this is more likely to hit Cariel. Okay, 2 armor. Probably play this Click Clocker next turn. I don't know, maybe. I can either play it as a 3-3 three, three next turn or a 5-5 five, five, two turns from now. And even that's not guaranteed because if I pick up like a 3 mana card, I'd want to play that with Chain Gang. Hey, I found Cariel. I think I do want to Click Clocker here. I might be... Spamming next turn, but I don't know for sure. If I double Bannerman, my opponent is going to smack me for 12. Probably makes sense to go spammy Arcanist here. But honestly, with Cariel, I maybe could have gotten away with such a greedy play. But with this line, I'll just go Bannerman, Chain Gang next turn, play Cariel on 8, and then I should be chillin'. Okay. I do have a second Spammy Arcanist in my deck. Really, it's not too heavy. Both chain gangs are equal. I don't even know if I'm alive here, but I probably am, right? Although they do have a Scorpid. Yeah, on board they're not even that close to killing me. And I'm not even sure if they can go all face.
Only one damage on a Reckless Apprentice is pretty good in my eyes. Uh, this is just always carry L, right? I could spend 70 seconds trying to find a play that's not carry L. But sometimes you've just played enough Hearthstone to know that you should probably play carry L on turn 8, because she's really broken. Uh, next turn can be fun. I can go Bran, Keliseth, Snapdragon. Or maybe Bran, Keliseth, Chain Gang. A lot of options, actually. Maybe I don't have enough stuff in deck to justify the Snapdragon. I hated that. Well, let's put some bodies in play. As long as I survive this turn, I have Denathrius, and it should be hard to lose. Bran might even survive for Denathrius. Solid Alibi actually does limit my Denathrius healing. So I don't even know if I want to play it, which sucks. Okani might do a good enough job of keeping me alive. Denathrius only heals for 7 here. I mean, can they even deal with Denathrius once it's in play? And then I've got a freaking Battlemaster. I think this is fine. Even if they have, like, Mordresh, they're just out on board. Could be Mordresh plus Frozen Touch. But Mordresh is probably not even active. Although, I think the, uh, I think the Reckless Apprentice, even though it was only one damage, I think it did hit a lot of targets, so maybe it is active. But it's not active based on mana, because they've spent six already. So I can trade something off into the Scorpid to get Battlemaster in play. Might be worth it. Stop Another freeze. We got nine, eighteen. They're just dead on board. I would rather draw both of those with one card than let them take up two mulligan slots. I think there's just not that much reason for me to play Click Clocker here. Can wait till I buff it with all this other stuff. Horrible draw. Service bell. Yikes. I whiffed on the invigorating sermon I was hoping to hit. Um, I'm definitely not taking the other service bell. Cariel and Bannerman both make a lot of sense. I think Cariel probably makes more sense, though. That card is OP. Downright silly, some might even say. Alright, good sermon. And then next turn is likely just Bannerman, double one drop. And this Click Clocker gets to be a 3 3 instead of a 1 1, so probably worth.
Not a great trog, but I can clean it up with the Divine Shield. What are you? You're a 1-1. One, one. Probably play Spammy Arcanist here. Do I, though? I can full clear with Spammy. I punch here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then this thing. So this can just go face. And then next turn is likely Vindicator, Service Bell, Sermon. And then we can get Cariel online, she can buff up Chain Gang, I can have a bunch of fun doing that, and then I will inevitably die to the Jailer. But I can have fun before I die. I'm definitely always doing this. And then I probably do just go ahead and play the Sermon here. Do I really care about this? I probably just want to push 6. I mean, this gets discounts, but like, is any of it relevant? Probably not. Well, I will say I have an insane hand for Cariel's hero power. Three things that get to double dip on it. Our hardships only strengthen our resilience. All right, big old chain gang. Even through Cariel, these each hit for five. That's pretty freaking big. Well, you're not supposed to have an eight power rush minion. Why do you have an eight power rush minion? Where did the first Leviathan come from? Some school teacher nonsense? Uh, Denathrius is actually bigger than I thought it was, but still not worth playing here. How big? You'll be an 8 power? I mean, I guess weapon cleans up. Uh, I definitely spell counter, right? Because I just care about getting equality here. That sucks. Oh, that sucks a lot. I think I need to push the damage. They clear me, this does 17 or 9. They're getting cleared is definitely a bummer. Oh, I actually got a card out of my peasant. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Um, Denathrius is pretty good at getting through these taunts. 
Assume it clears board. That's 14 damage. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'd put my opponent to 17, 16, 10, 8. I don't think I want to play Denathrius here. I don't know. I don't really spend my mana that well if I don't play Denathrius. Maybe I'm just playing Famished Fool for one here. Jesus Christ. Terrible fucking buff. Alright, uh, Denathrius is 20 now, so it does 10 damage. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a quality to right? But, uh... Can I just play Denathrius here? Oh god, that's annoying. Wait, this gives me info? Uh, do I know if this got Rush? Certainly didn't get Divine Shield or Lifesteal. I guess I literally didn't get any info off this because I can't tell whether or not it has Rush. And I know that they have Jailer in hand already. Oh shit, I drew, uh, Brand Chain Gang. Alright, who's ready to lose another 50-50? Actually, I don't know how many of the ones in the past were 50-50s, but... Alright, nice. Uh, I don't think it makes much sense to put my weapon into this. Maybe it does, actually, because I'm probably going to play Denathrius next turn. They probably don't play Reno in the Renathal build, right? It didn't kill shit, but it healed for a lot. If I kill this 3-2, there's a decent chance Denathrius kills this, but it's not guaranteed. Uh, how much damage do I have? Punch, and then I have 2, 4, 19, and then say this does, oh, this only does like 5 face damage. Probably still play Denathrius here. Light guide my patience. Oh wait, I have Bran in play. That changes everything. Probably still not lethal. Oh, it was lethal. Nice. Wow. Cool. I expected that to be a pretty tough matchup, but it kind of seemed like if they only drew one equality, it wasn't that bad. Wow. I think I keep all this? I think. And then, man, I'm going to be playing some big stuff on turn 7. Oh, that's a bad draw. I basically didn't draw a card this turn since I'm going to uh, service spell. I still think this is worth playing. I could go double banner man over one sermon. I still think sermon into sermon's pretty good though. You blow my cover. Believe in yourself. All right, my opponent draws some cards, but their cards aren't even buffed. So, who cares? I'm going to stick to the game plan of Sermon next turn. I could also play a Trog with it, which is nice. And then double Snapdragon on six. The time has come to our former master. Uh, don't be Ice Trap, please. Nice. Uh, played right into Explosive, but we don't talk about that. 
I did want to play the sermon before checking for explosive because then my recruit would survive, but obviously should not have played the trog before attacking. Also, maybe shouldn't have played the trog at all because that was kind of a bad trade for me. But whatever, I will play double snapdragon and it'll be it'll be great. Wouldn't mind drawing into my Kaliseth, but definitely don't need it. Actually, I guess what I'm doing at this point is just service belling into Bannerman. Rabito is very strong. I might just go ahead and spammy Arcanist this. God, I don't want to get freaking objected. Please, please at least be objection if I'm going to do this. Okay, cool. Well, next turn I can go for Bannerman stuff. And I'll even have the mana to play the Keliseth I will of course draw off of Bannerman. Unfortunate. Contraband stash just literally does nothing for me. But I guess it's a good card for my opponent to not have. Oh, cool. It's the worst draw on my deck. Nice. Uh, so I guess with that draw, I just never play Service Bell. Not sure what I'm countering here. I guess Spell, since my opponent has two jackpot cards. If only I had taken Hero counter. Could go Bran with Bannerman here. I'd rather use it with Twin Fin. Although I could just draw into a twin fin here. What if I just go service bell, double banner man? Oh, maybe I should just take Cariel, actually. Nah, we'll go banner man. Oh yeah, Chen Gang is good with Bran, too. So I can get three eight nines and a six eight next turn. And I would still have mana to play a twin fin as well. We have now we That's a bit of a problem. If only I had Lightforged Cariel in my hand. Alright, hold up. I think I'm still winning. Oh no, that's a turn. They already played Scabs, and any jackpot cards they had got buried by Finley. So I think I'm doing okay here. Well, hate to see that.
Well, that's fun. Not too many board clears were that effective there. It still took pretty significant investment for my opponent to clear me there, though. And I have another Chain Gang and another Twin Fin in deck. And a Cariel. Uh, probably just go ahead and play Cariel and use your hero power. They draw two cards, I get plus four, plus four. That's a fair trade-off, I think. Good old Kaliseth. It's a big ass peasant. I guess I'm just playing everything here, huh? Probably should have targeted the buff on Click Clocker. Am I even playing Okani here? It's pretty bad. Let's just hold on to Okani. No way I'm dead here, right? Oh, I forgot they had a Battle Master. I'm still not dead, though. And I do have another Battle Master in my deck. Oh wait, maybe I didn't have a Battle Master in my deck. Um, well, shit. Probably have to play Denathrius here. Alright, I'm pretty low, but... Being at 6 with carry all up is not too bad. Their weapon does 1, they have to find 5 damage. They do have a Cecily minion. Maybe it's something ridiculous like Mr. Smite. Nice. That game is definitely looking sketchy at some points, but when the deck is so big, it can't be stopped. 